Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome uh, to the um, Twitch, uh, my channel, Wycliffe Barrett. That's me, Wycliffe Barrett, and uh, we're live. Now, um, the, what I what I plan on doing this morning, or in the next few minutes, is I'm going to show you how to install scenery into X-Plane. Um, some people kind of say, oh, how do you do it? And, and, and they're a little bit confused about it all, but it's really one of the most simplest things you're ever likely to see. Very, very simple. So uh, we can see my desktop here, and um, it's just uh, it's a cockpit view of the 757. We're not, we're not going to mention that again. I know that some people think I'm obsessed with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to install scenery into X-Plane 10. First of all, uh, there's a couple of things you need. Um, well, only really one thing, and that is a um, archiver, a WinZip file or something like that. Um, archiver, an archiver. I use uh, WinRAR, as you can see here. Um, that's just my downloads folder there, and uh, as you can see, uh, quite a few down <laughs> downloads in there. In fact, a heck of a lot. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to install Scenery into x -Plan. I'm not going to use anything here in this folder. I'm going to actually download something, some new scenery. I'm going to download some new scenery. So I'm going to show you where we download it from and what happens exactly. So uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. Okay. Um, some sceneries that you can buy, so if you buy Aerosoft products, if you buy an Aerosoft product, uh, such as uh, this one up here, let me get this one down. Ah. So if you buy an Aerosoft product like this one, which is uh, Amsterdam from Aerosoft, which is absolutely fantastic, it's one of the most detailed uh, airports in x uh, This comes with an installer, um, a little like um, little like uh, the other simulator. It's got an installer, you press the button and it installs it automatically into X-Plane. But if you're uh, downloading freeware, uh, which most of us will, then you have to install it yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, also show you the web, the best website to go to to get free scenery. Okay, so uh, go to your web browser and open up this. Uh, www.xpscenery.net xpscenery.net this is a repository of scenery all over the world and it's done on a graphical basis so it's not a list uh, so I suppose what you really do need to know is your geography okay and as you can see at the top here we've got Europe Africa Asia North America South America and Australia and other as well other Although I'm not quite sure where other would be, because uh, we've got most of the continents of the Earth there. I'm going to click on Europe, and immediately you see all of these kind of blue pinpoints. Uh, not pinpoints, what do they call them? Place markers, thumbtacks, indicators. Um, some of them are blue, and some are pink. The pink ones are payware. So those are the payware ones. And the blue ones are the freeware. And as you can see, there is a heck of a lot. So I'm just going to zoom in here. Uh, I mean, there is so much scenery available for X-Plane. It is quite staggering. Um, France, you know, everywhere. Italy, Eastern Europe, Romania is a little bit um, devoid of scenery. Although uh, Bucharest and what's that? Uh, Sibiu International, those are payware ones. Um, Greece, um, Turkey doesn't do too well, surprisingly. There's uh, not that many for Turkey. And damn it, the phone. Bear with me. I'll edit this bit out, I guess. Hello. Yeah, I will. I was recording. <laughs> I just. I'll have to start again. That's all right, don't worry. I'm, re I'm recording the uh, piece of film. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so I'll edit that bit out, hopefully, and uh, we'll start again. So, as you can see, 
Italy uh, is okay. Eastern Europe is a little bit devoid, but we still have, you know, Burgas. In fact, I think I I made Burgas. I can't quite remember. I may have done. Who knows? And, uh, well, just a lot. A lot of stuff, okay? Strangely enough, uh, Spain hasn't got that much. A bit in northern Spain. And, of course, the uh, Balearics. And uh, the Canary Islands here. But anyway, so we're going to download some scenery. I'm uh, trying to figure out what to download at the moment because I'm not quite sure what I have and haven't got. <coughs> Excuse me. Aha! Okay, Plymouth Airport. So we'll click on uh, Plymouth. I haven't got Plymouth. And um, just click on the tag there and it highlights Plymouth Airport. See it there in red. Uh, this one's been given five stars. So. Two things can happen when you click on it. It can start the download immediately, or it could take you, it could just be a link to another page, to xplane.org. So I'm not quite sure with Plymouth, but we'll see. So we'll click on that. This is live. And where are we going? Where are we going? Ah, here we go. We've gone to xplane.org, and here you can see we're on the Plymouth Airport page. This looks like a recent edition. I haven't seen this before, I don't think. There's some screenshots here, so we can click on these and have a look at what it looks like. That's oh, quite nice. It's quite nice. I can't get that image any bigger, I'm afraid, but uh, that's quite nice. So we close that and then click on... We can read about it if we want. Some people have made some comments. Uh, somebody said, very nice. Ever think of doing Cardiff? <laughs> Obviously, they don't know that my Cardiff exists. So, uh, this is Mercedes. He's uh, he's created a few airports. So we download, click download, and immediately you see it download in here. It's uh, quite a large one. This one uh, started off saying 18 minutes, but uh, with my internet connection, it's, uh, it's it's down to three minutes already, as I've got a very fast uh, internet connection. We're down to two minutes, uh, so we'll just hang on for that. Um, in the meantime, we can go back to my already downloaded file here, downloaded stuff. Um, just make sure I haven't already got Plymouth in my UK stuff. Nope, I haven't got it there, that's for sure. Shall we have a look in my download section? No, it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look as I've got Southampton there, but I haven't got Plymouth. I suppose we could try. We could install Southampton whilst we're waiting, couldn't we? So as you can see down in the bottom left hand here, I'm still downloading that Plymouth scenery there. It's about 50% done, I'd guess. Uh, and what will happen is the scenery will end up in in my downloads folder. Okay, automatically goes to your downloads folder. As you can see, mine is huge. I've got quite a lot of stuff in there. Not all of that is installed, by the way. Uh, some of it is, some of it isn't. Um, you know, that's entirely up to me what I do kind of thing. Um, if I choose to install something, then I will. If I choose not to, that's also up to me. And I suppose the other thing is you could download as, as much stuff as you want and install it whenever you want, I guess. So, how long have we got now whilst I've been talking? Uh, well, we've got 26 seconds left, and I'd rather do this with a completely new download rather than one that I've already downloaded just to prove how simple it is. Okay. Um, so, this is a large file. Some of them are really small files, and you just install them very very quickly right there we go it's in the archive so uh, showing folder there it is it's called archive strangely enough and not uh, Plymouth so this is where things get a little bit awkward maybe for some but I'll do it as slowly as possible all you need to do is right click on that and then click extract files okay and basically this box opens up, this dialog opens and it's asking me where do I want to install the files to. 
I really I want to install them to Xplane. So click on your Xplane folder. Mine's uh, I have an F drive for my Xplane folder, so that's a, a two terabyte two terabyte drive with just Xplane on. So you click on Xplane on the drive rather, and then open Xplane itself here. Yeah. And then a folder called custom scenery. So you open up the folder called custom scenery. You see all my custom sceneries here. And then you click OK. And you see it installing. Installed. What was that? Uh, less than a second, second and a half maybe. So that is already installed. And you'll be thinking, well, how do we know it's installed? It was so fast. We didn't see it. I'll show you. OK. Let's close everything down close that down. How do we know that that's installed? Okay, so we go to computer, X-Plane, X-Plane 10, custom scenery folder, and if we just scroll along here, there it is, where's Southampton gone? Oh no, it wasn't Southampton, it was Plymouth, wasn't it? And there it is, there's Plymouth. Hi Turbo Engine, welcome, good morning, how are you? So there's Plymouth, installed, brilliant. You do have to do one other thing, and that is with this folder here, called, uh, this file here called Scenery Packs Any File. Open that up, and you'll see all of your sceneries here. Now you need to order these in the correct place and you'll see if I can scroll down all of my UK ones I've got together here all right you you could leave it and what happens when you start when you start um, explain you'll see the Plymouth scenery and it'll be up here at the top so I'm going to do that very quickly and hope that it starts up quickly you know what you know what explains like it takes ages to run doesn't it so <coughs> fmc check okay i'll talk about that another day i think <laughs> xfmc so everything's in everything's loading up and what's happening here as we load up as we go through the load up process is that uh, explain is ordering all its files as it loads up um you'll notice maybe if you might be able to see down here where I'm indicating, you know, this will change as certain things are done or loaded into the program. It starts up with, you know, will in it pl plugins, etc. And you'll see scenery going in, and then you'll see your aircraft going in, and all sorts of other stuff. And then you get to the famous asynchronous loading, almost completed, um, and you know that's that's when you're well on the way. At the moment, it looks as though it's doing nothing. It looks as though it's dead in the water. It isn't. That's the curious thing about X-Plane. It just keeps going and going and going. Uh, and as you can see, airports are loading and now some scenery is loading. Uh, Skymax colours or sky colours are going in there now. And it just keeps going on. Uh, ATC. It's been initialised resources, bitmaps, etc, etc. And uh, bang, there we go. So, we've, we've loaded up X-Plane. And at the same time as it's loaded itself, it's r it's written that scenery any folder. Now, all things being equal, I'll close that and then come back to it. You tend to forget that things stay in a buffer, and uh, you can't always see what it is you want to see. So, custom scenery folder, scenery packs. Oops scenery packs open that up and there you see Plymouth up at the top up at the top um, also Alicante and X traffic so we need to move these things around so that they're loading correctly so you just highlight Plymouth control C delete scroll down here to where my UK stuff is so I'll put it in here control V and there it is pasted in there, you can see it pasted in there now. And that just keeps everything in a nice order within when you're running your sceneries, okay? It keeps everything in a nice order when you're running your sceneries. Um, we have 
Alicante up here as well, I noticed. Well, we can move that. We might as well move that. I installed Alicante last night or the night before. So, Control C, delete. And we'll just move it down here into a more reasonable area. Uh, I'll put it down there. Okay. You'll notice that all the Aerosoft airports that are already built and are in uh, X plane, they're all up at the top here and not in alph any alphabetical order at all. And that's because they've got Aerosoft at the beginning. Now you can sort this out by either deleting Aerosoft or putting Aerosoft at the end. It'll still work. Or you could put, you could take out Aerosoft there, Control C, and put it here, like that. And then the next time you run X Plane, all of your Aerosoft uh, airports would be in the right location alphabetically within this file because you put the IKO code first. Some people say, oh, do that. Others don't. I need to move this, tree lines and farms, control C, delete, because it needs to go down the bottom here somewhere. Um, it needs to go, in fact, above. It needs to go, oh, it's there. There it is. That's Europe. I forgot. So you've got tree lines, farms, North American, tree lines, farms, Europe. So there we go. All sorted. Close that. Save. Save. We're done. Um, all right. And it's as simple as that. It, it takes no time at all. It's the same with aircraft. Um, you can install aircraft in the same process except X plane 10 you put your aircraft into your aircraft folder and within the aircraft folder you'll notice there are lots of different folders so heavy metal, heavy, heavy metal helicopters seaplanes general aviation I've got one called commercial airliners so you can even put in your own folder because there isn't a commercial airliners folder by default so I created the commercial airliners folder and then put all my commercial airliners in it. So you can see the 777, the A320, uh, that's uh, Peter Hager's Airbus, Jetstream 32, 757, 727, and so forth and so on. So you can, you can create your own folders and put aircraft in them and they will still work. Um, that's a fighter aircraft, I've got the Globemaster in there, C-17 uh, from Vitavia. It's uh, it's a really simple system and a lot easier to use than... Uh, is it easier to use than FSX? I don't know. With FSX you have an installer, much the same as you would with this. You have an installer, so who knows? But that's how you do it in X-Plane. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Now, do I have to make this film again because my wife rang? Who knows? We'll see. Uh, that's me. That's why Cliff Barrett, that's me, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. All right, uh, I may be live tonight, probably tomorrow.